Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakradash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there, spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to the few Akwath listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, This is Not Our Rest. Alright, we need to stop trying to get comfortable in this society, trying to fit in, trying to build a career here, trying to chase that bag, and you know, just ultimately seeking the cares of this life. All right, you know, coming into this truth is going to come with a lot of suffering, you know, and that's what a lot of people that are not necessarily built up in the faith don't realize or fail to understand or fail to just come to terms with completely, you know. Um, when you come into this truth and you're not prospering like those people in the world and then you're like wait hold on a minute what's going on here i mean aren't i serving the lord why am i suffering for it because that's that's you know the heavenly father is all about balance man you know and in fact let's let's just go there real quick the heavenly father he doesn't have he doesn't like a false balance you see proverbs 11 and 1 a false balance is an abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight you know, if we had our way on this side and we, uh, uh, you know, had our hearts contempt and we were satisfied here, then why the hell would we need a saviour? Okay? What we need to understand is that the things we don't see uh, far exceed the things that we do see. And we're, we're, we're chasing after the things we don't see. All right? Eternal glories, eternal riches, eternal life. All right, the law, statutes, and commandments being written in our inward parts. These are the things we don't see. All right, when you lust and after the flesh, you get caught up in the cares of this life. All right, because ultimately, those who have their way on this side, and you know, have it the way they want to, and are successful on this side, they they're gonna have to pay the price. You know, during the time of Jacob's trouble. They're not going to have any hedge of protection. They're going to be in, in, in a deep tribulation, man. You see? But that's a true balance. All right? Because why do you think those that are living up right now, they're not seeking a saviour? Because they've got everything their heart wants. You know? So they don't need saving. They don't need salvation. We're the ones that are crying and sighing to the Lord daily. You know, our soul is even making groanings for, for words we can't utter because we're suffering that much on this side, man. But we're not suffering in vain. And ultimately, we're suffering because we transgress the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so ultimately, although it's shit, you know, it's a, it's, it's a shit situation that we're in now. But ultimately, we need to understand that we deserve it, man. And furthermore, those, you know, two thirds of our people who are unrepenting, who don't want to seek the Lord, who don't want to seek forgiveness, who don't want to get in the good graces of the Lord, they're going to be in a worse situation than they could ever imagine, man, when the Lord comes and smites them with his wrath. All right, no one wants to die of a famine, man. You see, no one wants to, to, to see their family die of starvation or being taken to a concentration camp and, and you know, these uh, devils having their way with you. All right, no, no one wants to go through that, man. But you see, the Heavenly Father, he's going to allow Esau Edom to have his way completely with two-thirds of our people, man. We don't want to be a part of those two-thirds, you know. So we, we must bear the indignation of the Lord, knowing that, first and foremost, we deserve it. And secondly, you know, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. All right, let's uh, prove that real quick in the book of Job. Because, you know, a lot of people... You know, they come into this truth, they hear about it and, 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 you know, they love it. They're intrigued. 
And then the moment the, the, the hell comes, the moment the tribulation comes, they're offended, man. All right, but listen to this. Job chapter 5 and verse 17. And it reads, Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrective. And, you know, by us going through all these various different trials and tribulation, you know, experiencing these various different troubles, the Lord is, he's correcting us, man. Because at the end of the day, uh, you grow through what you go through. All right, there's, a, there's always a lesson to be learned in all our life experiences. And, you know, ultimately, the story is already written, man. Pursuing to Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. So that's your comfort. As well, man. Knowing that this is all, this is all written. There's nothing that you've experienced in your life, that you will experience in your life, that the Heavenly Father didn't really plan for you. And so, lucky for hearing a bit of wind noise. You know, I'm outside right now. Um, but you know, the Heavenly Father, He's got a plan for you, man. See, and the elect are gonna suffer, but they're also gonna be glorified when um, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai returns. Lord willing. Be a part of that number, all right. Job 5 and 17. Behold, happy is the man who the most high corrective. So, you see, it takes a, a man of the Lord, a true believer, to understand that through all the hell and tribulation that they're going through, that they're being put through, is really the Lord doing it, man, for our correction, all right. Therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty. For he maketh sore, and bindeth up, he woundeth, and his hands make whole. Okay? So, so not only does he put us through the fire, but he takes us out of it, man. He refines us. He strengthens us. Alright? It's through the sadness of the countenance that the heart is made, is, is made better. You can read about that in Ecclesiastes chapter 7. I think that's verse 3. Okay? Let's go to the book of um, Micah Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 And it reads Arise ye and depart For this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you Even with a sore destruction Alright So you know we don't want to be dwelling here man we don't want to have our minds set on this kingdom because, the, you know, the ways of this world are about to pass away. So therefore, why would we put all our focus, all our might and our heart into the cares of this life, knowing that these things are temporary, man? And the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is about to bring major judgment upon this place. Already, there's major judgment going out, man. You know, you got um, the, uh, those, those major floods in Pakistan. You know, about a third of Pakistan is underwater now. You know, you've got a major drought in China right now. You know, because they've been having extremely hot weather. And they ain't been having enough rain. So they've got a drought. You see, you've got a famine. A, a, a worldwide famine. That's about to happen. The economy is about to crash. Esau is about to come in with that sword. Alright, and he's going to be like a madman sparing none. You know, so this, this society is falling, man. So so why the hell are you, you know, investing your all trying to make it on this side? When it's apparent that this society is circling the drain, man. You know, there's a few articles that I had at, that I was reading at work today. Um, uh, I didn't get a chance to... Um, usually what I do is I email it to myself so I can access it at home. But, you know, I've been having some IT issues with my PC, so... Um, you know, the IT team, they made me lock, log out of the PC Unfortunately, because um, it was on incognito mode um, I couldn't actually retrieve that history But uh, from what I remember um, You know, like the UK is headed into a recession, man If we're not already in one already Alright They keep talking about the, the, the energy prices The gas prices um, going up significantly in October You know A lot of people ain't going to be able to heat up their house Their houses um, um, This fall man You know we're heading into a very dark winter So why 
would you want to pretty much lay all your eggs in this basket, man? Knowing that the ways of this world soon passeth away. Okay? Because it's going down, man. And you see, when it goes down, that's when the people are going to realize that there's been a prophet among them. You know, those same men that they mocked and scoffed and they didn't believe and they laughed at and they ridiculed, you know? It's us that's going to have the last laugh in that day, man. Lord willing, you know, the spirit work with us until the very end. All right. But we're heading into some very dire times, man. You know, things of biblical proportions. And people see that already now. But the thing is, they choose to block it out. You know, whenever you bring forth the bad news, which really and truly is the truth. They're like, nah, man, don't don't talk to me about that. Tell me something more positive. We need to hear about more positivity. We need to, you know, I don't want to hear about all this negative stuff. But that's because these people are in La La Land, man. And this is why the Lord is going to have to bring forth his wrath, his judgment. Because even with the, you know, the tokens that he's showing us now, people are still like, nah, nah. Let, let, let's go back to 2019. You know, we don't want to seek the Lord. Let's just continue in our wickedness and hope for the best. Okay. But but the best ain't coming, man. Well, the best destruction is coming, man. You see? And our people relying heavily on Esau Edom. Like, Esau Edom going to help you, man. Yeah, yeah. Esau Edom's your enemy. Sirach 12 and 10 says, um, Never trust thine enemy, for as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. All right? Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes... As yet failed for our vain help In our watching We have watched for a nation That could not save us You know Jake be, be heavily Relying on Esau man Relying on the benefits Relying on, on, on our, um, um, You know Esau for, 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 for pretty much everything man You know But we're watching for a nation that could not save us You know the only uh, Powers that can save us Is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you see, our people are going to have to learn that the hard way, man. You know, they're going to realize that we haven't been laboring in vain. You see? Because, hey, man, <laughs> it's, about to, it's about to get dire out here, man. We're going to be in a very dire situation real soon. You see? But we know ultimately that it's a part of the battle. You know? This is, this is the, um, the straight gate. Pursuing to Matthew chapter 7 Enter ye in at the straight gate For for for, for wide is the path to destruction And narrow is the gate to, 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 to life To salvation Roughly paraphrasing Alright Let's go to the book of Acts Chapter 14 And verse 22 Confirming the souls of the disciples And exhorting them to continue in the faith That's what we're doing We're exhorting you by way of doing these lessons, man, where we uh, we uplift each other's spirits, because the thing is, you know, none of the brothers and you few sisters that believe are strangers to the struggle. We're all we're all suffering in our own ways, man. Certain brothers, you know, um, um, uh, bring it up and and you know let let the people know, uh, but most brothers pretty much suffer in silence, man, and we just do these lessons. And, um, you know, we don't really speak on, on, on how we feel or the things that we're dealing with. But, hey, man, you best believe we're all suffering, man. If you believe truly in the names of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and you're doing your very best to, um, to please him, you are going to suffer. Because ultimately, we are trying to be righteous in a wicked society, man. We are literally going against the grain. And that's not going to come with its tri uh, without its tribulation. All right? Continuing on And that We Through much tribulation Alright Through much tribulation Enter into the kingdom of the most high And that's, that's the condition of the battle man We're going to enter into the kingdom of the heavenly father Through much tribulation man Alright No no one said that being in this truth Was going to be easy Okay But it's most certainly worth it You see it's most certainly worth it, man. And there's no place I'd rather be. Because, you know, 
as it says in Isaiah 33 and 6 wisdom and knowledge shall be the what? stability of thy times because trust me when, when these plagues start to ramp up that's when people are going to want to get right that's when people are going to want to seek the Lord that's when people are going to want to call on the true names of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai alright this is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse 1 my son if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation you know you're always going to have those demons tempting you to go off you're always going to have those demons tempting you to go back into the world man you know putting those thoughts in your mind oh look how much you've done look how much you've labored and you know look at look at everyone else around you how they're thriving how they're prospering and you're just stuck right those demons are always going to plague your, plague your mind man to try and deter you from the faith to try and get you to to turn away from the most high but you see we've got perfect example of our forefather job all right he he had he was sm smitten with many plagues many diseases uh many different adversaries man, adversities right but he still remained faithful to yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know though he slay me um um how does that scripture go though he slay me i shall not uh, uh, depart from the Lord Roughly paraphrasing Alright So that's the same attitude We need to have Because remember pursuing to, pursuing to Romans chapter 15 and 4 The things that were written aforetime Were written for our learning Right So so that's why we read these scriptures Because it brings these things into remembrance Okay You know uh, 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 Bible What is Bible Basic instructions before leaving earth Right that's, that's what it is The basic instructions before leaving earth We're hoping to be a part of that elect You know, I'm really and truly The elect hate their lives here, man You know, every day waking up Still in captivity Still at the bottom You know, and you, you know It hurts more when you know that uh, uh, um, You know that, that you're a peculiar people You're the most has chosen people, man that we are gods pursuing to Psalms 82 and 6. Yeah, we're here in this lower state, downtrodden, all right, last place, disrespected, not valued. You know, you, yeah, it really gets at you, man. But hey, ultimately, we're paying the price for not um, hearkening on to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you know, for um, forsaking the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we're in this position, man. Okay. Tirak 2 and 2. Set thy heart aright, meaning your mind, and constantly endure. No matter what we go through, we need to constantly endure, man. Fight the good fight of faith. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. We're looking to be increased, man. You know, when Yahweh Shai returns, we, we want to be increased. All right. What's that? Second Thessalonians 1 and verse 10. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. All right. So, you know, we're looking for the and hastening for the return of Yahweh Shai so we can be glorified alongside with him, man. 1 John 3 and 2 Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High And it doth not yet appear what we shall be But we know that when he shall appear We shall be like him For we shall see him as he is Alright, so And you know, Isaiah 47 says Yahweh Shai, he will not meet thee as a man He's coming as an all-conquering power A God, you know And, and, and you know, he's going to be unstoppable, man and we're gonna be like him. So that's that's what we're fighting for, man. Things that, that the simple carnal mind of these two third Israelites, unbelieving Israelites, and these heathen nations can't com can't comprehend. Alright, so they're not meant to understand what we're involved in. They're not meant to understand why we're so willing to suffer for this truth. Because it's not for them, man. But soon they'll realize why we went through all that we went through. And that they've been a prophet among them, man. Okay. 
verse 4 Whatsoever is brought unto thee Take cheerfully And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state Yeah, we're in that lower state now You know uh, Just about making enough money To make it, you know, through um, You know, being at the bottom in society Alright, not being respected First one's fired, last one's hired Alright We're at the bottom man You know our people really be going through it And you know sometimes When you get a bit too comfortable in this society The Heavenly Father he brings that That, that plague upon you man that, 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 that calamity upon you Just to remind you That this is not your rest Alright We're soon out of it man We ain't going to have to enjoy this for too much longer But we, we got to You know we got to uh, uh, endure hardness as a good soldier, man. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And we're the ones being tried in that fire, man. And adversity means, you know, a difficult or unpleasant situation. And, you know, as a hopeful elect, we, are, we're, we face many difficult or unpleasant situations, man. You know, but ultimately... We understand that that um, we have to deal with it because we we went off. We're the ones that transgressed the law. You see, and and, and the heavenly Father, He's chastening us, man. But we'd rather this than the brutal judgment that two thirds of our people are gonna experience, man. You know, Micah seven and nine, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him. Until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light And I shall behold his righteousness So that's what we're waiting for man We're just patiently en enduring That, that uh, uh, indignation of the Lord Which means righteous anger Indignation Until he pleads our cause man And puts Esau Edom down And, and lifts up his, his, his uh, uh, elect Alright Verse 10 Then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her Which said unto me Where is thy power? You know Because that's, that's pretty much How they look at us now Where's your God? You, you, you know You suffer so willingly For this power right? Well where is he man? Why ain't he helping you out? Well, that's, that's the conditions of the battle Alright Man eyes shall behold her Now shall she be trodden down As the mire of the streets And that's what's getting ready to happen to these Edomites man These wicked heathens And also two thirds of our people But we know two thirds of our people Are going to be brought back in the kingdom In their right minds And, and they're going to be saved then Alright But these heathen nations They're going into captivity man Revelation 13 and 10 He that leadeth into captivity Shall go into captivity Alright Let's bring out one more scripture of the book of second maccabees chapter 6 verse 12 now i beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities yeah man you know, we're, we're, you know we really be going through it but we, sh we shouldn't be discouraged man because we know that the reward is great if lord willing we endure until the very end all right but they, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. All right, because because that's 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 what the Lord is doing, man. Starting with the elect, he's he's chastening us, man. And you know, two thirds are gonna get that brutal chastening. All right, when they when they uh, um, have to remain in those plagues that the heavenly Father is gonna send. All right, verse thirteen. For it is a token of his great goodness When wicked doers are not suffered any long time But forthwith punished For not as with other nations Whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish Yeah That's why Esau Edom is You know he's going buck wild And he's pretty much doing whatever the hell he wants Thinking that he ain't never going to have to pay For his sins You know because the pride of thine heart Have deceived thee Alright but the Heavenly Father, he's long bearing, he's long suffering and, and you know, he's building up that anger man So that when that time of judgment comes 
man you wouldn't want to be an edomite in that day let's put it that way all right till they become to the fullness of their sins so dealeth he with us so you see in the meantime the heavenly father he's going to deal with with his people starting with the elect that's why we're, we're going through it now man and you know it's not always that oh yeah you're wicked and oh you don't please the lord but hey what did job 5 and 17 say you know the most high uh, corrective and chasteneth those who he loveth man all right so despise not the chastening of the almighty you see second maccabees 6 and 15 lest that being come to the height of sin afterward he should take vengeance of us and heavenly father he's going to take vengeance for us man when he puts esau edom down you know isaiah 14 i beheld satan uh what's that luke uh is that luke 10 i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven all right so trust me man revelation 18 and in one hour uh um, is that judgment come you see when that when that nuclear destruction is set in place all right the lord is going to make a speedy riddance of this place man let's let's close out on that all right so we just need to you know fight the good fight of faith all right so let's close out here in zephaniah 1 and we'll start at verse 14 the great day of the lord is near it is near and hasteth greatly even the voice of the day of the lord the mighty men shall cry there bitterly that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And we're blowing that trumpet now, man. All right, but that trumpet that's going to be blown in that day is I told you so. You know, the biggest I told you so is getting ready to happen, man. All right. And I will, uh, verse 17, and I will bring upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as, as dust and their flesh as the dung so basically metaphorically speaking the heavenly father is gonna he's gonna kill many all right many of our people two-thirds of our people will be killed along with these heathens man okay verse 18 neither uh, their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the lord's wrath but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy and what's going to bring that fire the nuclear missiles that concentrated fire from the chariots all right for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land all right so remember this keep these things in mind Wherefore comfort one another with these words, right? Arise ye and depart, for this is not our rest. We're soon home, man. We're soon home. So just continue to fight the good fight of faith. And you know, Lord willing, uh, we're found in 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 in, in uh, the good books, man. We're we're numbered amongst the elect. Okay. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I say shalom.